Hi, my name is Andre Ionescu. I'm going to be sharing a case with you today. Uh, this is a bit of an endodontic misadventure. Uh, this is a broken file that I broke and I actually caught it on video. Um, and I subsequently removed the file and, uh, and uh, completed the case. Now, this is a pretty interesting uh, maxillary first molar, uh, tooth number 26, um, with a double curvature on the distal buccal root. Now, I was aware of this curvature going in. I could see it on the pre-op x-ray. So I took all the precautions. I used uh, hand files to, to create a smooth glide path. I used glide path, uh, path files. But my 2004 rotary file unfortunately separated right at the level of the CJ. So um, with the help of the San Diego Swiss uh, instrument removal system, IRS system, I was able to remove this file without too much trouble and um, uh, completed the case. Today, I also use some pretty interesting burrs from SS White. They have a series of uh, burrs called Endo Guide. They helped uh, trough around the file so I could, I could capture it with the, uh, with the IRS. The IRS system consists of a series of core drills or trefine drills that can help you uh, trough around the separated instrument, those are on the left, and the actual instrument removal itself, which you'll see on the right. Um, this is a consists of a sleeve, an outer sleeve that goes around the, the head of the file, uh, and it has a little window of fenestration and an inner rod which engages the file into place so you can, you can pull it out, so you can retrieve it. So the first thing I would suggest is to um, try, you know, get another file, you can cut it, and then you can try to see which uh, IRS uh, fits it perfectly. So in, in my case, it was, uh, it was a black, the black one. So it, I, you just kind of try it in your hand and you can see like if you can engage about two millimeters of the file, um, then you turn, you turn the inner portion in a counterclockwise direction you'll see how it can, it can actually get a really tight grip on the file. And uh, you continue turning into in a counterclockwise direction and it should come out. So let's see how it went. After removing the mesial caries and restoring the tooth, I began making the access. So this is my initial access here. I felt it was large enough so that I could see all the canals. You could take a good look inside. And we start working on our glide path. Sixes, eight, ten files. Then I used the uh, path files from Tulsa. Alright, there we go. Glide path is complete. Confirming the working lengths now. And now we start to instrument. So right off the bat, I start with a 2004. Oh yeah, but that has a special, yeah. And there it is. The moment that the bead of sweat forms on the back of your neck as you see the file come out shorter. I felt like this was a good time to stop, close up, uh, put calcium hydroxide and take an x-ray and uh, you know come up with a plan on how I'm going to be removing this file and completing the case. So there it is, you can see the instrument, you can see the top of it. Now the first thing I tried to do here was see if I can work my way down beside the file with a very small instrument. You know, this takes time, but I feel like it, it loosened the file a little bit more and uh, maybe helped uh, get it out a little bit easier. But you can see I created a little path right beside the file right there. And now it's time to trough and see if we can get the IRS engaged. So in this case, I used uh, a burr from SS White. So you can see it there. This is um, this is the Endoguide Molar Kit. So the, the, the burr that I used was, I believe, uh, the Endoguide 4. 
So it's a very tiny, very fine, long shank. I could have also used the core drills, but uh, I just I just felt like I have a little bit more control when I can see what I'm doing. So I, I chose to use the, the burr instead this time. And it worked quite nicely. So you can just see I'm troughing. Oh. So the top of the instrument is a little bit loose. You can you can move it, you can get a sense of how much of it you have there. Just need to trough a little bit more. You could also use an ultrasonic. I'm always worried about breaking the file even further with an ultrasonic. Uh, I find I have a lot of control with these fine burrs. And, uh, and so this is my preference, but I'm sure the endo guide um, the, uh, the trough line drill from the IRS system would work as well. So I think at this point I felt I was ready to try to see if the IRS system fits. So I felt like I had enough of the file exposed that I could grab onto it. So I'm trying it in. It looks like it fits. I can get it over top. You can you can see how it sits over top of the head of the file. So we just make sure that we got it seated in the right place. And counterclockwise, rotate the top counterclockwise. And you can feel it engage and you can just feel how it, it binds at, some, at a certain point. And you keep turning counterclockwise. And gently pull upwards. Okay, there it is. And now we can just go on and complete the case. I've used the IRS system multiple times. Um, it, it's been it's been successful most of the time, uh, especially if the file is uh, separated a little bit higher up. You probably have a better chance of grabbing onto it. So this is our final X-ray. Um, now, even with the troughing that we did around the distal uh, distal buccal canal orifice. I feel like we didn't remove that much tooth structure and the tooth still has an excellent chance of success and an excellent prognosis. And I think the IRS system is a very nice tool to have in your toolbox um, because these situations do happen and uh, it's just a nice nice to be able to know that you can, you can remove the file relatively painlessly. Um, yeah, I hope you found this helpful and if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below and I will answer them. Thank you. <laughs>